Hello, and welcome to Backer Breaks It Down. In this episode, we are going to take a look at geometric properties of linear functions. And so this episode is going to focus on identifying and interpreting parameters of linear functions, because parameters are properties. Um, and we're going to look at writing equations of horizontal and vertical lines. So those parameters. So we've got linear functions. We usually write them of the form y equals mx plus b. Um, well, b and m, those are the parameters, OK? And as we know, m is the slope and b is the y-intercept. But like, what do these two things tell us? Well, the y-intercept tells you where the line crosses the y-axis, OK? Um, the slope, that value of m, tells us a little bit more because, like, if the slope is positive, then the line is rising um, from left to right or it's increasing. Um, if the slope is negative, then the line is falling from left to right, so it's decreasing. Um, the slope tells us how fast the line is rising or falling. And the larger the magnitude, the steeper the graph. And so like what they mean by magnitude is like if I had, let's see, I had the line y equals negative 2x plus 3. And I had like y equals um, 1 half x minus 4. Okay. The magnitude is referring to like the absolute value of the slope. So like this first one has like a magnitude of two. Like negative two is the slope. So I know like since it's negative, the line would be falling from left to right. It has a magnitude of two. Um, the second line has a slope of one half. The magnitude would also be one half. Because all the magnitude is, it's the absolute value of the slope, all right? So when I look at magnitude, I can determine which line would be steeper, okay? So like, because the line y equals negative 2x plus 3 has that bigger magnitude, this would be the steeper of the two graphs, okay? So if the slope is positive, the line is rising. It's increasing from left to right. Um, if it's negative, it's falling or decreasing. Um, the slope is telling us how fast the like slope is changing. And the larger the magnitude, the magnitude is the absolute value of the slope, the steeper the graph is, OK? So in this diagram, there are three lines, L1, L2, L3. We want to arrange the lines in ascending order according to their slopes, okay? So smallest to largest. Now, like, they aren't saying anything about magnitude here. We're just looking at their slopes. So we would want to start with a line with a negative slope. And, like, L3, line 3, has a negative slope, okay? And then L1 and L2 have positive slopes. So then we can think about steepness there, okay? Because a positive slope means it's increasing. And then the bigger slope would be the steeper graph. So I'd have to say L2 is the steeper graph, which means if we're still writing things in order, L1 would come next and L2 would be last because L2 um, is the steepest and it's positive, okay? Um, arrange the lines in descending order according to their y-intercept. So we want to look at where these lines are crossing the y-axis. And we're arranging them in descending order. So the line that has the greatest y-intercept would be L3. Followed by that blue line, L1. And then finally our green line, L2. So coincidentally, same order as part A. Which line has the greater magnitude, L1 or L3? 
So here we are thinking about steepness. Anytime they ask us about magnitude, we want to think steepness. So L1 or L3, which one is steeper? Okay. So L3 is the steeper graph. Okay. So whenever um, they are talking magnitude, you do want to think about steepness there. Okay. Which line is steeper? Okay. Which lines are increasing? Well, we can easily see that L1 and L2 are increasing from left to right. And then finally, which line could be represented by the equation 0.5x minus 5? So like the fact that it has a positive slope means it's one of my increasing lines. And it's the increasing line that has like a negative y-intercept. So here we are interpreting the parameters. So which line has a positive slope? So an increasing line with a negative y-intercept. Yeah, that would be L2. So that's how we can like interpret and analyze the parameters of a linear function. Okay. Um, so horizontal and vertical lines. So I actually have, I think the next page filled out. So I'm just going to like try blocking some of it from you. Hmm. Okay. So clearly that red line is a vertical line and I'm telling you it has the equation of X equals negative three. And then the horizontal line has the equation of Y equals two. So why is that? Why do a vertical lines have an equation of X equals a number? And horizontal lines have an equation of y equals a number because it seems like that would be the opposite. Okay. And so really the reason why this is, okay, so is if you look at the red vertical line, notice that all of the x values on the vertical line are the same. So every single point on this line has the same x coordinate of negative three. So X is always negative three. Similarly, all of the Y values on the horizontal line are the same. So notice on this purple line, the Y values are always two. So Y always equals two. Right. Now, when it comes to their slopes, like I can actually, you know, use my slope formula and calculate the slopes for each of these lines. And so what I'm going to see is that the vertical line has an undefined slope. So basically what happens is that you have like a number over zero when you go and you calculate the slope using the formula. And so we cannot divide by zero. Try it on the calculator, you'll get an error message. So we just simply say that the slope is undefined. The slope of the horizontal line, when you go to do the actual math, you'll notice that in the numerator you get zero and in the denominator some other number. And so this is just zero. Zero divided by a number is just zero, okay? So I am going to have you guys skip ahead to example number four because example number four has us working with horizontal and vertical lines, as well as like perpendicular, but like clearly a horizontal line and a vertical line are perpendicular to each other, right? Yeah. Okay. So this problem says find the equation of a linear function whose graph is perpendicular to the line y equals nine. The two lines intersect at negative four nine. Okay. So first off, I'm like y equals nine. What is that? y equals a number. Well, horizontal lines have the equation of y equals a number. So I know that this is a horizontal line, which means that I want to find a perpendicular line, right? And the vertical line is going to be perpendicular to a horizontal line. Vertical lines have the equation of x equals a number. So like, the question is, what is that number? Well, they did say that they intersect at the point negative four, nine, and x is negative four. 
So our line would be x equals negative 4. So it's just a matter of like remembering the rules that horizontal lines have an equation of y equals a number and a slope of 0. Vertical lines have an equation of the form x equals a number and a slope that is undefined. And that's how Backer breaks it down.